Hey guys, Reed here. As you might be able to tell, I have a little bit of a cold that I'm getting over, so I'm going to do a really short and simple video today. What I want to show you is a really nice technique to be able to take easy and quick documentation and notes within Power Query. I'll be the first to tell you that I don't particularly like taking notes, so this will be a great way to add a bit of detail to be able to track what you've done and leave a breadcrumb trail for yourself if you come back to develop the file later on. So let's hop into Power Query and get started. So what I have in me is just a standard query, doesn't matter what the data is, doesn't matter what you're loading. The goal being is I want to show you some techniques that can transform your applied steps that we see over here from the generic names we have into something with a bit more detail. So we'll be able to learn how to name the steps to add additional information so we know what we've done later on. Additionally, on top of that, I want to be able to show you how to add some notes. So the end result is going to look something like this. The query that I have over here cleaned up and completed. As you can see here, many of the applied steps have been renamed. So let's just go ahead and see how that was done. Any applied step in Power Query, you can right click and you have the option of renaming it. And that's what I've done on certain ones that have that additional value. So those added custom with the additional columns that got added, I added the column name into there as well. Again, mentioning that this just really helps to make sure that you understand what you did at a future date. Now, the other one that is less obvious to people is the ability to add tooltip information, a description onto this step itself. You can see here on my filter to sales years, right below that, there is a section that says additional notes can go here. To get access to that menu, if you right click on any step and you go to properties, you do have the option in here to type a description in and any notes you put into here will then show up when you hover. Now at the current moment, there is no word wrap. So if you type a very long description into here, all you'll see is one line that appears as you see here with this, the information getting cut off. However, if you still right click and go to properties, you can see the full set of notes that you've left into there. So that is my quick tip for the day. I would recommend that as necessary, go ahead and rename those steps. And for ones that are more complicated or things that require a few applied steps to do an action within the query editor, go ahead and add a little bit of description in there as well, just to help yourself in the future. I'll be the first to say as much as I think I have a steel trap for a brain, I will often forget stuff and this is a great way to remind myself about what I was doing. So that about covers it for this video. If you liked the video, please click that like button below. If you have anything to say about this video in general or have any ideas for a future video, please add that down in the comments section. And if this is your first time watching this channel or you would like to see more of these videos, please click that subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.